So before we delve into Deep Fear Part 4, perhaps we should do a quick recap? A recap of Deep Fear? I can't wait! I feel like the more I see of Deep Fear, the less I understand Deep Fear. Well, holy shit, it's action-packed and intense, Deep Fear! I'm we, so insane and it's, it's excited. We did leave off on quite the cliffhanger. And Dubois. I know you're very eager to see what happened to our good friend Dubois. Don't interrupt my exclamation, Dubois, what happened? We don't know. That's how I'm, part three ended. Dubois was in absolute peril. Peril! I'm he, not even sure like what kind of peril it was. Despite the bad voice acting throughout this game, you could dis- you could sense the peril. I I, I I don't know. Um we met we met a buff girl named Anna. When her steroid-filled dog, Rambo, and, and they didn't seem bothered by anything that was going on. We discovered, or we heard, a very emotional story about John's kawaii girlfriend. And how he lost her in a yachting accident. Let's uh, just Mom- take a moment Mom- to remember that. Moment of silence. <sighs> and uh, we've established that you can download air, bullets, and reserve air... At various points throughout the game. John is basically an inventory hoarder. It's like you put on a cheat code going into this game. Right, right, right. You cannot die. They should call it Deep Pockets, really. Yeah, he's like carrying around one of those chests in the Resident Evil series where you throw all your shit. But he he just has that with him at all times. Full of air grenades and quote-unquote kits. Good for him. You know what, honestly? I am fucking sick of these horror games that are actually difficult. You think you need tension in your horror games for them to be good? Hey, Amnesia, can I start with a gallon of lantern oil and, like, a gallon of laudanum and that'd be that? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Really? Dead Space, infinite ammo. Maybe? Hello? Yeah, seriously. Don't let that Isaac guy go in alone. It's ridiculous. Don't make him start out with no weapons. Just have him with the full arsenal, everything unlocked from the get-go. Anyway, it's much scarier. I, I just, I love Deep Fear. I do too. This is the, the perfect horror game to celebrate Halloween. It's fucking exciting. Do you want to start? I, I'm i pumped up, quite frankly. Me too. Me too. I want to know what happens to, I, well, to Dubois and to all these memorable characters we've come across, like John, Anna, Gina, Dubois, and other people I can't remember the names of. And that Japanese guy. Remember the one with the torch? The one with the torch. Whatever happened to him after he gave you his torch? Well, we better have rescued him, because we're ERS, okay, Yeah, I mean, you kind of left him for dead after you took that torch. Well, let's hope, let's hope that didn't that's, happen. Let's, let's hope, hope not. So he's not either drowning or killed by monsters. Perhaps we'll find out that and more. And Mookie. And, Mo- well, yeah. Rest All right, come soon. on. Too, too soon. Enough, oh, I'm sorry. Mm. Enough shitting around, though. It's time for some fucking deep fear. Let's get into it. Let's get scared. Ah! Yes! Ah! Sorry. Yes, that ambient noise. I love it. I feel like my air is running out immediately. <sighs> Wow, your room looks like a hospital suite. Look at this, man! Okay. And... action. It looks like a computer. Begin cutscene now. And action. Go. Thank you. Oh. I repeat, their weak point is oxygen. Our goal is to get them in the air unit. Let's show those monsters what seal are made of. And the Emmy Let's goes get to. Moving. Get the gondola ready. He's clearly using a teleprompter. The not involved out on the docking area. Yes, sir. <laughs> Good job, cheerleader squad. <laughs> Sorry, was that the Navy SEALs or a birthday this is party? A hidden camera, a bonus for the designer. It's a secret. A bonus. Oh, Just slap them. Full of it. Those navy muscle heads shutting me out and starting this mess. Air unit area round of battle. Mmm. Oh, it's dangerous to fight there. Oh. Why? Oh, if the air system is broken, not only will there be no air, but there will be a pressure buildup and the building will collapse. Damn. And if all the air leaks into the ocean, the air will expand and cause a blowout phenomenon above water. We've got to tell Clancy and make him stop. He got punched in the nuts before he delivered his dialogue, right? <laughs> Deep fear NPCs. Misunderstanding physics since 1990X. Absolutely. Ooh, the big table history. Let's read. So that was his big sense of urgency. 
Yeah, pretty much. Oh, oh so this is 1990X. It predates the Mega Man series. Somehow. Um, Dubois started on the Sea Fox and the Big Table. And the, there's a junk area. Can't believe all this happened a mere two decades ago. Hmm. Oh, look, the government's renting it out to civilian companies, and now... <laughs> yeah, this but... is what happens when you mix government and capitalism. But what about the air? What does it say about air systems? I don't know. Check that fish tank, John Mayer. John's in a real hurry, obviously. Did you notice Dubois had an empty wire hanger? No coats hanging for him. That's suspicious. He's probably a monster in disguise. I feel like we should have played as Dubois this whole time, honestly. Mm -hmm. He's the scenario B of Deep Fair. <laughs> I like to think Mookie was too, honestly. Mm -hmm. No, don't go that way. The scenario B sides. Right. Well, I've got plenty of air. Time to saunter off to find those <laughs> Navy SEALs. John Mayer, always looking like he's running in water since 1990X. <laughs> well, that's why he's perfect for this expedition. That's true. It doesn't matter if he's above or underwater, basically. He's in, he's in the right setting for an emergency. Uh-oh. Oh, there he is. Commander, we've called the SEAL team at once. Why? If the area unit is damaged in the battle, the air pressure will explode at the big table. You must call them back. Damn. I basically passed the messages from Dubois. That's my job. <laughs> this is Aquarius. Pisces. Pisces, answer. I can't contact the SEALs. I have a bad feeling. Can About you go this. and call them back? Okay. I'll contact them to open the docking area for you. It's in your hands now. <laughs> I read what would happen from a horoscope, actually. So if anything goes wrong, it's now officially your fault, John. <laughs> Even though we dismissed you before as a helpless civilian. They're really inconsistent about that, aren't they? Yeah. Every I time just... John Mayer talks, I feel like he should be waving to his parents in the audience. <laughs> I think he's too ashamed from losing Stella in that yachting accident. That was that was pretty heavy stuff. Why, really? That's where the real fear comes in, is the fear of emotion. <laughs> I like that notion that John, John Mayer is jogging by the door and he's like, Oh wait, no, I gotta hit the conference room. Let me just spin and open. How much would I bet he's going to grab items from here? A thousand dollars. Why not? I'm, I'm sorry, a thousand air grenades. That's the currency of Deep Fear, right? Yeah. That's why there's so much of it laying around. See, look, it's not even enough he gets fucking shotgun shells. Like, alright, take some take some uh, submachine gun ammo while you're here. You might need it. I don't know. Even I though you like can download it whenever you want. It's like the item system is like your grandmother who's spoiling you. In this game. <laughs> Oh, John, it's your birthday. Don't leave with just shells. Take some submachine gun ammo while you're here. Deep fear, my birthday was last month. We'll take it anyway. You've been a good take boy. It. You're a good boy, John. Come on. Deep, Don't want those Navy SEALs. Deep fear, stop pinching my cheeks. Aww. Uh, oh. <laughs> Deep fear, you are embarrassing me in front of my audience. Did you voice act John Mayer slowly? I tried, yes. You, you tried, you didn't quite make the cut. Oh, damn it. Oh. <laughs> Was it too full of emotion? Um, I, I, uh, I didn't actually understand what air 20 over meant before, but... Wait, what? Dude, it's not a TV. No one's home. Damn sales! Open up! This is my turn! Oh, it's that guy. Yeah. With the perfect mustache. Who, who's that guy? His name's Danny. Oh. See, the joke is they unlocked wow. it for you. It opened. He thinks he did it. What? You were here? What do you want? Danny, get the gondola ready. The SEALs are heading towards the air unit area. <laughs> if they fight there, it'll be a disaster. Come with Wait, me to why? the launch area. Why do you have a different voice? <laughs> <laughs> what, what happened here? We're tag-teaming voice acting this role. <laughs> mean, anyway. With that Almost guy's there. baritone, the air's bound to go down quicker. <laughs> I'd better hurry to those seals. I like hurry being the operative word. 
I like to think how incompetent this team is. It's actually like Seal's the animal. <laughs> or possibly clones of the singer Seal. But yep. hmm. I'm never going to ride an elevator the same again. <laughs> Not a green one, anyway. No, for sure. Mm -hmm. So what's Deep Fear going to throw at us next? <laughs> Probably more items, if I, I have to guess. I was going to guess air grenades. <laughs> well, now that I've sauntered over to the red door, I could go for another Dubois cutscene. I'm sorry. So, what is the area junction room's function? Um, not a helipad, which is this room apparently. So All we right. did figure out between part three and four that pink is where you are right now. Yes, pink, pink, pink apparently is the color of locationality. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. And green is where air is 20% over, and red to where it's 90% under. Alright, enough of this helipad. What was the point of the helipad, exactly? Um, you know, it's a future Central Park site. Oh, good, okay. Well, now we're in the sea farm. Yeah, you so can tell from the sound of your footsteps changing. This should be replete with really cool monsters and enemies, I'm hoping. Hey, the breeding pool is one of my favorite bars. <laughs> I like a John. Uh, Jalo? No, I'm Dubois. Uh, oh. Uh, uh oh, new monster. <laughs> Kill it. Do it, John. You know you want it. Use all of your ammo. How are you, Sharon? John, sorry, I was half asleep. I can you tell. must be tired. How's it going? The work is good, but I can't sleep at night. <laughs> Are you in love? Of what? course not. Hmm? John, this dolphin likes me a lot. It's good to be liked by everybody. Yeah. What? But it doesn't mean anything if it's not the one you like the most. Good character relationship building. Valentine's Day, Deep Fear style. Oh, it's April Fool's Day. Get your holiday straight. Close enough. Isn't any holiday good for love in Deep Fear World? Ah, fuck the sea farm room. So what was the point of that? Uh... Dolphins are cute. Who's Sharon? Uh... She I, feeds the dolphins. I, I missed that. She had trouble sleeping? Is she six? Probably. I mean, her voice actress was, to be sure. It was, oh, yeah, yeah, there's no doubt. Yeah, no. There's no way that was paid for. Anyway, let's go to the Strage and get <laughs> infinite everything. <laughs> I really love that dolphin scene, though. I feel like... It's way too far in the game for it to relate to anything, but I know it will. <laughs> like, the dolphin's gonna save us, and we're gonna be like, Thank God for that dolphin. I say get infinite everything, it's basically true. <laughs> Deep fear. Can you handle having everything at your disposal whenever you want? <laughs> See, it's deep because having everything you desired in the world is, is scary. Quiver as you have adequate amounts of air and ammunition. Do you dare go forward having a fully stocked arsenal at your disposal? <laughs> John, it's like you won the world championship of items! <laughs> well, 99 air, that's a record. <laughs> By the way, in this game, you know you'd call the World Series the World Championship. I'm just saying. The World Championships. <laughs> I better warn those seals at my leisure. Good thing he got out of the room. He only had 97 air left. I was getting worried about old John. John, you're more than adequately prepared for this mission. Well, um, I don't know. This control room's a little scary. Who, the, wait, who? The air is so finicky room to room. <laughs> you think it'd like regulate or something, right? They'd have like some kind of system for that, being the fucking Navy and all. The more I watch Deep Fear, the more I imagine myself changing channels, and that's what the numbers are changing. <laughs> Well, that's, what else is on? Oh, that's, John. 
<laughs> that's the true fear, is that any channel on your television is deep fear. Oh my god, that's terrifying. Like, no, this is supposed to be Univision, damn it! <gasps> Oh, well, the gondola. Anyway. Um, gondolas are those little, like, boats they have in, in Venice, right? Yeah, this is Venice, right? I mean, I think so. <laughs> Venice of 1990, where it's... Alright, Danny, we... let's have a romantic gondola ride. gondola is back in place. You can go anytime. What are you gonna do? I'm calling the seals back. Oh, I have to take care of the docking unit, so I'll let you take care of this big job. <laughs> I have one word of warning, though. What? The air unit area has no air system. In case there is a fight, watch the oxygen. Okay. Could you say the word air again, please? I'll keep that in mind for my infinity reserve air. Don't die. <laughs> <laughs> Sound advice that the SEALs often share with each other. <laughs> That's what SEAL Team 6 said to each other when they got Osama Bin Laden. <laughs> I like how John Mayer shrugged, too. Like, yeah, whatever, asshole. Yeah, your voice acting's bad even for me. <laughs> I think I'm doing better than you, somehow. What did he say about air? Anyway, the gondola. Should we be quiet for this? It's kind of like an elevator. No, absolutely not. I'm sorry. Look at this crap. <laughs> <laughs> the main character. Oh my god. <laughs> uh... Am I supposed to feel horrified by these mannequins dying? <laughs> Is this a different game we're seeing? <laughs> Take that, door. <laughs> Mayor is shocked because he's watching the demo for Deep Fear. <laughs> like, I'm not in this game, what the hell? This was their proof of concept? How did this get funded? <laughs> that dead guy's like, here's another air grenade for you, John. I'll save you! You if only person. we had 12 first aid kits. Uh. <laughs> Why does John take all our items? See, even the developers are trying to change the channel right there. Well, who's that? John was not wearing a brown jacket. And we'll just close the doors on the cables going in, I guess. Well, that was informative. Some all people right. died somewhere. Deep fear, how about it? Deep fear. That was actually the promo for Deep Fear 2, where, like, <laughs> scary shit happens. Shit that you give a shit about. Deep Fear 2, the deepening. <laughs> Electric Bungaloo. Deep Fear 2, Code Ironicus, where he actually comes in. <laughs> Someday. Soon. Well, that's the gondola port. Let's just walk in a circle and go. Things are going to intensify in the air unit area. Oh my god, I can't wait. Look at the floor map. There's four distinct rooms in a hallway. This Tetris is going to be impossible. Hey, John Mayer can do anything. <laughs> Except speak in a manner that a human can identify with. Right. right. Whatever do you mean, Slow Beef? I'm not sure, but at least I know we're going to the passageway. I've noticed whenever I try to talk like the characters, I automatically wave my arms around like a spaz. I notice that when I comment on this video in general, I do that. Mm -hmm. It's a very odd thing. It's good. So finally the soundtrack uh, kicks in in the passageways, it makes me think something's gonna happen in Deep Fear. I know, like, once the sound kicks in, it kind of works, it's just the game is so shitty that... <laughs> like, look at that, that guy dropped like a pancake wood. Do I need gun? No, I don't need gun. I will put gun back, because I do not need gun. Let me keep reflecting on what a tragic end that was. Do you need CPR? And he stuffs an air grenade down his throat. <laughs> Jump on this air grenade, you'll feel better in a moment. It works for me. Mm-hmm. Wow, I was oh, worried about all the stuff I have. Let me go refill it. I forgot we have to worry about the air in the air unit area. Air. Air. Oddly enough, air did the soundtrack for this game as well. <laughs> I don't know if I want to download my ammo just yet, so let's just walk in a circle there. I'm feeling a little overconfident. <laughs> well, maybe not. I bet you the lone player was. I bet the real blue dragon was like, do I want to go in with this much ammo and shit? What did he just do? Um, I think he just reflected on how tragic that guy's end was. Well, I heard a ding. Oh, that was because the lone player was playing Jeopardy in the background. Oh, look who it is. Oh, a monster? Oh my god, I'm... <laughs> Damn. Oh. 
I only uh, have 18 how, error to dispatch this abomination. Wait, where did how, we go? How will, how will John Mayer survive this? What is happening? <laughs> Imagine Silent Hill, only really crappy, said John Mayer. <laughs> I better put away at my gun to make it a little sporting on the monsters. Oh, the air unit area air pump room. Full of air. Mm hmm. Air. Do you think this is going to be an underwater sequence? <laughs> Not sure. How, how did you call that? Just call it intuition. Oh, the air unit area, um, the air unit area, air pump rooms, air meter is active. <laughs> hmm. Well, and the torpedo is stuck without exploding. You know, if you are going to lay down a fart, it might as well be in an underwater room with no one else there. I mean, I would, I would do that. Absolutely. Why do you have to take a gondola to the uh, air unit room, by the way? Enough of that water. Let's have some more tension. Like, I'm just saying, if I were building a, a, a structure like that, wouldn't the air unit... An air area... refinery? As if the storage units weren't enough? <laughs> we were worried you are getting short on air grenades. Here's an air factory. If you'd like to refine any monsters you find into air, you can do it here. What a horrible air refinery. It has no air. He's been ripped to shreds. There's a pool of blood. Let's just keep keep pondering that fact. Yep. Still the fact. Yep. Still the case. Oh, there's another one. Oh, we can't even recognize his face. But let's just steal his stun grenade. A stun grenade? <laughs> and another one. <laughs> and another one. Oh my god. I love the fucking game. Wow, these guys were paranoid. I watched a little head. Diabetes, are you ready for the first boss? Oh, deep fear. This has bosses. <laughs> Apparently it does. Okay. So we're going to find out what ripped these guys to shreds. Mm-hmm. We are. Is it an air elemental? It's it's the air unit air elemental control room. Air. Air. Hmm. Air today, gone today. <laughs> I can see his agony. Anyway, <laughs> shellbox. What a tragic... Oh, hey, shellbox. Oh, stun grenade. Oh, that's all he had. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I had, so I'll look in more in this tragedy. The difficulty's increasing, you can tell, because you only got two items off him. Way to be stingy, game. Wait, is he alive? So is the boss getting more items? <laughs> yes. <laughs> What's the Are you ready for the most difficult part of this game? So yeah, a boss is coming. I'm gonna be. I'm so happy. I'm so fearful. <laughs> I'm so deep. Well, that's odd, but okay. <laughs> John didn't even have anything to say about that last fight. He's just like, yeah, dot dot dot, whatever. Fitting that the first boss fight would be in the air refinery. <laughs> Maybe. I think so. Maybe. Uh oh. Wait, was there no air before? I was about to say something. There was no air before. Yeah. Oh. The air refinery is bereft of air. That's just the way it is. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our first boss, an empty room. Ah! Deep fear! The terror! My god. Alright. So you're not just making up shit about a boss? There is actually a boss? There is actually a boss, yeah. We just fought the first one, and our second one's coming in this Is round. the boss numerology? <laughs> I, think so. I think it might be. Okay. Look at that top-down camera angle. You know shit's going down. Oh, even the long player senses there's a boss. I better get everything. <laughs> Now it's time for the second boss. <laughs> 28 air. The second boss. Ammo. How much can you fill your pockets? <laughs> oh my god. And the third boss, it just goes to credits. <laughs> you beat the game. I hope so. Exactly. My god. We survived another R-charge boss. Whoa. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Mayor. And he mastered that exit menu puzzle. He's the fucking mayor of this place. No wonder they named him that. Mm-hmm, it fits. Mm-hmm. Alright, now, now to up the tension, despite the fact that you have everything you'll ever need. <laughs> Alright, look at this door. You know what's behind this? 2F? The <laughs> third boss, an elevator. Shh.
I like to think we defeated that boss. It was an intense fight regardless. I know, no, really. I mean, what's it gonna throw at us next? <laughs> Probably another passageway if I had to just guess. I was gonna guess more stuff. <laughs> uh oh. You open There's the elevator and a thousand air grenades spill in. There's only one room in this in this uh, floor. And it's shaped big enough to be boss arena ish. Is he gonna get a oh he's he's already dead. And he only has fifty items on him. Oh my we'll god. We're playing on professional difficulty? We're playing on ultimate difficulty. Oh my god. Uh oh. Now it's time for a boss. The fourth boss. We didn't want to surprise you with the boss fight, so here have some music. <laughs> it's a rat! <laughs> No, no, John, right, right behind you there. Uh, my pivoting skills not adequate. <laughs> you know, it's a good thing to give a give a game with um, slow pivoting as a very fast boss. Absolutely. <laughs> good game design. Is that a download thing in the wall back there? Probably yes. I like to think those one and two tanks in the back are just extra lives as well. <laughs> Is this seriously a boss fight? Yes, it is. It's, um, it's Radigan. The ultimate boss. I... Uh, okay. It, it gets... It's, it's a lot scarier if you haven't collected the thousand items the game has given you. That's the idea. Have you ever almost drowned, but then we're thankful you had a resuscitation kit with you? You know how Scrooge McDuck's money bin is filled with coins? That's how John Mayer is with first aid items. Dives in a vault full of air grenades and kits. Just swims through them, basically. <laughs> Keeps them all to himself. This is seriously what they imagined for a boss. Yes, it is. Okay. The music is fucking great, though. Like, it just doesn't match what's it, happening at all. It does not all. fit at all. This is, like, wonderful fucking boss music, really. They did not give the composer any idea of what was actually happening in the game. Or maybe their storyboard they... was so much more bombastic than what the final product was. I think they kidnapped someone from the Metroid Prime team. Yeah. <laughs> You're working for us now. Oh, wait, we're equipping grenades. Now this boss fight's getting serious. Now look, this boss is no Ridley, but it's just as intense. <laughs> well, <laughs> grenade, ladies and gentlemen. That's the... No, don't walk toward the grenade, John Mayer. <laughs> well, that did it. And it's over. Uh, John, what are you doing? John, don't... Oh, boss. Wait. Uh... Um, you want me to tell you what that is? A bomb of some sort? It is a bomb. Okay. It is a bomb. That, that boss, I guess, was hiding. Now you have to fight the bomb! Oh my god, here we go. Only three minutes to escape the experimental mouse who had the control key on him? Huh? All right, whatever. <laughs> anyway, there's a bomb. Just, just spend some time recharging our air. I need all my shit back. Ah. Uh, one more. Uh, once again, the music is not matching what is happening on screen. Let me just get back everything I used and. And yeah. John Mayer's like, yeah, I guess I gotta escape this. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just use my usual leisurely bun pace. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh-oh, monsters. Uh-oh, someone's really irritated with that boss fight and how bad it was. <laughs> well, he's easily dispatched anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, back to the elevator. Oh my, oh my god, god, if you fight 46 more monsters like that, you're in trouble. That ate up two Shh, of my precious slowly. seconds. Oh. <laughs> they even stopped the music for the elevator. <laughs> That's how important the elevator is. And back to intensity. Uh, uh, Action. Yeah, there Thank we go. you. And we're John, back with John, Deep Fear. John Mayer, John, John, John Mayer. That's the lyrics, I think. Wait, well, oh, a new enemy. I, wait, is it or? Uh, it, I think it is? No, E.T. Raptor. We've seen him before. Yeah, he was in that Jurassic Park arcade game. Yeah, whatever. We have time. Let's kill him. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I got 42 more of these things. 43 more yeah. of these things. Even the long player is not pretending. Oh, that's mildly irritating. Anyway, on to the next room. <laughs> did, so, did the monsters set the bomb? I, I guess so. <laughs> that's the only explanation I can say. Unless it was Dubois. 
Or Danny. <gasps> I don't trust him. Or the monkey. <laughs> Mookie's like, those seals really struck out with that bomb. <laughs> At least we know Mookie didn't set the bomb. So I guess the idea was you're supposed to like run there and then figure out you don't have the key and then run back to the boss and like figure out, oh, the rat stole the key. He only had two minutes to spare. Ooh. I know. <laughs> He's not even like scared. Like, oh, it's going to blow up in two minutes. John, God, do you have something up here. your ass? <laughs> I'd better enjoy this last view of the sea that I have. I hope the game's fifth boss is aboard the gondola. <laughs> what a pointless boss fight that was. My god, I look like an idiot. <gasps> oh my god, three seconds? I, There's a 30 I have no seconds. sense of timing with that bomb. I can't tell what that one digit was supposed to be. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what do you know? The air unit has some air. There, there we go. John Mayer's like, guess I'm going to live, after all. Anyway, casually moving on. And, yep, slowly pull that lever and we're good. Just another I... Tuesday at the office. <laughs> Home dumb. <laughs> what a first week. Going through the motions. I can't wait to see the awesome explosion this game has planned for this. Good thing I read all the training manuals during my first three days of work. <laughs> Quick, cover those sprites with the other sprites. <laughs> only only one drawing of an explosion is necessary. You're wearing your We're 3D glasses right? for this, right? Oh god, yeah. Okay. Um... <laughs> Deep fear, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> That's uh. awesome. No, not the air. Oh. oh no. All the air grenades went off simultaneously. And they're turning into an air grenade monster. <laughs> I spent three hours hiding that carrier. Sir, the ship appears to be in a jacuzzi of some sort. This is just a commentary against BP, isn't it? <laughs> Clearly. Let's hope so. The same thing happened in the Gulf, we know. <laughs> this is an aircraft carrier that only had one plane on it, so... It was, it was kind of a shopping cart thing, is how it worked. <laughs> no, not our one plane. Oh, man. Elbridge. Our Harrier has fallen into the ocean. Prepare for impact. Really? Just Don't the one carrier? A large object is dropping this way. Sounds like a Price is Right announcer. Next. They trying to pull me off first string again? What? Huh? I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry, are you supposed to... Was that one of Mookie's lines? <laughs> I'm really failing to see the problem. Oh, Dubois, here we are. Dubois, your thoughts? No? Okay. A siren? I guess that means something. Well, Mayor's trapped, technically, right? Because there's no other... What? He does. He needs to escape. Oh, good. The gondola is also a boat. Or a submersible. <laughs> well, there's that. How, <laughs> so how, are, how there's is the cable... How is the cable still straight? The other thing was yeah, destroyed. Uh -oh. They're really emphasizing that. The soundtrack says something really bad is going to happen. I, I'm really not seeing the danger I'm, though. Yeah. All right. Well, the, I guess the pressure of the ocean is compressing the ship. We designed the, the hell out of this thing, and you're going to see every inch. Oh my God! The, the Harrier's turning into a monster. <laughs> <laughs> it's a monster Harrier. The game's second boss. There's a bomb attached to it that'll. Oh. We gave you some training reels. <laughs> we feel like you're ready to move up from rat to Harrier. Oh, uh, I see. It's. I know it's. It's gonna no. hit them. First, first Mookie, now Dubois. Not Dubois. This is not the strangest thing I've seen today. Oh, Dubois in the clear. It's good. This is dangerous. Trust us on this. Yeah, I'm really not seeing the problem. Oh, it. it... 
What? Whoop. I can't see. <laughs> I knew we shouldn't put up all I was blinded for a second. The soundtrack sure justified that. Oh my god. What? Maybe now things get scary? I'm not holding how much of The cable has been cut! Switch to reserve <laughs> power. Was it cut from inside? <laughs> We're not going to be matching our conversation. <laughs> no. The other than the cable's fine, thanks for asking. <laughs> Defying all the laws of physics, I survived. Including the clo doors closing on the cables again. <laughs> hey Danny, what happened on your end? Thank god I'm playing this on that very easy. 60% of big table lost power, but you're alright. That's what counts. Where are the seals? I couldn't help them. Well, one of them came back in the gondola. He was covered in blood from head to foot. Colonel McCoy? Where did he go? I don't know. I tried to help, but he brushed me aside and went away. This is Clancy. Mayor, come back to the CCD area immediately. There's danger of the energy unit area melting down. I have to go. Be careful. <laughs> okay. And our By middle school play is complete. <laughs> By the way, you are my best friend. Yes, mine too. Yes, that is an accurate statement. Oh my god, we're going to disc two. Oh. We crammed enough excitement on disc one. <laughs> I'm, I'm imagining the long player. Close the CD shaking. door to restart the game if you're not too afraid. He's like, it's like clacking against the slot, you know. <laughs> the Duck Corporation, really. <laughs> um, excuse me, it's copyright 1990X. Oh my god. Don't, don't fucking cock tease me like this, Deep Fear. This is not the time. Damn it, what happened to Dubois? I want it now! What sort of fearful emotional manipulation will you load next? Oh, I was hoping we'd play as Danny. I hope so. Uh, Danny, out of my way, please. Sorry. Excuse me. Alright, fine. Excuse me. I'm glad you're okay. <laughs> me too. <laughs> I'm not gonna let you go past me unless you walk straight around. Mm -hmm. That's the rules. Danny, you're no Mookie, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Poor substitute. <laughs> They pitched the fourth ball when they cast him as my replacement. The health inspectors gave this room's air rating an A+. I'm a 95. <laughs> that Harrier really didn't do anything. Hmm. Alright. Wasn't power out in some of the It's almost locations? like the Harrier was not worth that cinematic whatsoever. <laughs> now Anna's gonna have to complete the game for us, basically. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or, or her dog. Warning, now with the Harrier hitting, there's only 800 air grenades instead of a thousand. I mean, Anna could have grabbed that Harrier and just flung it to the other side of the ocean. Or to a whole different ocean. <laughs> Absolute ocean, sorry. <laughs> Welp. Alright. <laughs> now, to the next area. What do you know? Just as boring. I kind of hate this section. Let's go back to the air tank place. Or that boss fight, even. <laughs> we can't fit all that technology onto just one disc. <laughs> <laughs> we need a whole new boss fight on the second we one. We need a new tiny, non-threatening thing to attack John Mayer to an inappropriately fitting soundtrack. <laughs> the Capcom people are like, what do we even need that giant snake for on disc one? <laughs> Ridiculous. All right. <laughs> Oh, we're in more elevators? Come on. Shh. No, I'm getting kind of sick of this. Let, I'm sorry. Let, let, let it happen. Alright, alright, alright. Just... Thank you. Alright, well that was sexy. But, mm -hmm. um... I mean, it kind of primes you up for the next injection of fear. <laughs> the deep injection of fear. <laughs> right. Well, can we at least talk to Clancy again? Or anyone? That was the most intense thing ever, and now Deep Fear just lets me down. Tell us another sappy story about your anime girlfriend. I want to hear more about yachting and how rich you two were. <laughs> Alright, back to the control deck. Okay. Hey, I completely fucked that up. Um, got anything else for me to do? <laughs> so about what you asked me to do. <laughs> Look at this view. <laughs> 200 meters deep in the ocean where the light can't reach. 
I've spent most of my life in a submarine. But the government looks at one mistake and cuts me off from my dreams by locking me up in this ocean floor prison. <laughs> one mistake? Oh, one of the submarine missiles I launched hit a passenger ship. And it sunk. I was in disputed waters what? right before a war. <laughs> Why only me? Those little oh, mistakes. Bad luck seemed to follow me around. The energy unit area is about to melt down. There's not much time left. The only way to survive is to escape using the SEAL's DSRV. Could you call all base survivors here? But I don't know where everyone is. I know that Dubois John, is headed towards the energy important. unit area. We've got to try to save everyone. <coughs> I understand. I'll get the DSRV ready. I killed civilians with a submarine missile and torched touched off a nuclear war that destroyed the continent. Those bureaucratic animals. Talk about a slap on the wrist, right? <laughs> you ever hear of <laughs> Judge not let you be judge yourself? Oh my god, that was awesome. <laughs> that was totally unjustified. Look at this view of a wall. <laughs> anyway, going on to a horrible thing I did. <laughs> this, this is what I get after killing a church full of nuns for no reason. <laughs> I mean, hey, April O'Neil, what's going on? So I drove a school bus over a canyon and they... I'm glad you're okay, John. Before? Yeah, somehow. Were you worried about me? Well, yeah. By the way, there was a message from Commander Clancy for you to go to the deck. Are your eyes missing? Let me ask you about your odd proportions. I've seen Commander Clancy. He is fucked up. <laughs> did you hear what Commander Clancy did? <laughs> I accidentally launched a missile and killed the Pope. And also thousands of children who were visiting him. And then they got on my case about it. Just for that, I got remanded to the sea table. <laughs> Sometimes life just ain't fair. This is bullshit, really. Yeah. A bunch of dicks. <laughs> they, they said, stock the sea table with thousands of first aid kits for all the innocent people you'll accidentally kill, Commander Clancy. <laughs> <laughs> this game's awesome. <laughs> I mean, it's just one emotional story after the next. Good talking to you. <laughs> I lost my wife in a yachting accident, you. Yeah, I killed thousands of people. <laughs> I launched a missile in a cruise I mean, ship. a guy just commits a little accidental genocide, and then people... <laughs> it's, like, it's like the military somehow frowns on that. It's like there's liability. I mean, come on. <laughs> you gave me shit for being a civilian? Look at you! <laughs> John, you did the worst thing ever. Being a civilian. <laughs> oh my god, an emergency manual? Um, emergency housing system. Tetramix. More chemicals is what I'm reading from this. Uh, John is just choosing to ignore what he's just heard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that was just a big joke. Wow, what a terrible story. Hey, what's this manual say? <laughs> Should I really be calling you commander after that? I mean, have you had psychiatric evaluation since then? I don't this know if you're qualified to, to have command of this place. This is my chance to redeem myself. Oh, whoops, the Navy SEALs I sent all blew up a big air vessel and crashed a Harrier. I have no luck, I'm Commander Clancy. What are you gonna do? <laughs> the unluckiest naval commander in the history. <laughs> And to think people give him a hard time. John Mayer's like, I'm going back to the apartment where shit makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather give a fucking dog a burger and be done with it. <laughs> oh yeah, monsters are in this game besides Clancy. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's the thing. Who should you be most afraid of? It's deep. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> it's a classic theme. Who are the real monsters in this game? <laughs> <laughs> it's obviously Clancy. 
It's pretty obvious. I mean, that monster didn't even hurt anyone before you put him down, but Clancy killed untold numbers of people. You launch one missile at a passenger ship, and they call you a monster. John Mayer's gonna make, wait, you're the ghost of people Clancy killed? Oh, I'm sorry, I have no quarrel with you. I'll go meet my deformed girlfriend and be done with it. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I just had a feeling Deep Fear would have a payoff. <laughs> I'm just surprised we got past that whole sequence so quickly. It's like, so there's that plot point. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> Clancy has his own demons too, in which he's the demon. I understand now. We just want to insert a little bit of character development to spice things up. Anna has locked the door from the other side. What's going on? Did you hear about Clancy? Danny, we're escaping. Get ready to board the DSRV. Did Clancy say that? <laughs> My place is here. I'm not gonna leave. This place <laughs> is about to melt down. I don't trust Clancy. Did you Why? know he sank a passenger ship on purpose? <laughs> yes, he yes we did! His rank. He said it was an accident. <laughs> <laughs> that was no accident. The sonar person warned him that a civilian ship was approaching. You seem to know a lot. Of course, I was the sonar person. <laughs> That's why I can't trust him. People trying to get to Washington tried to cover it up, but it was found out in an internal check and taken to court martial. That's why he was sent here. He's the type who will kill a man for his career. <laughs> I'm sorry, what is this? Anyway, jail? Get ready to escape. <laughs> Already there. Just have to move to the Navy area. I thought there are a lot of creatures over there. Better to fight than to drown down here. How do you get to the energy unit area? There are a lot of different ways. The sea farm area elevator is the shortcut. Sharon knows that area well. Try going to the sea farm. Wait, <laughs> what have we here? Wait, what? Torch. With this, I can torch the airlock door. Can I borrow this? Sure. Leave the area lock up to me. Is what I'd like to say, but this is out of gas. <laughs> they treated that whole Cl Clancy thing like, hey, what'd you bring for lunch today? <laughs> if, if you were to remove that too, the whole point of the conversation would be like, I'm not gonna escape, my place is here. Well, you wanna escape? Yeah, okay, let me just turn this open. <laughs> oh, hey, this is out of gas. <laughs> it's like, don't change the subject. That's why they send him here, where I am. Sea jail. <laughs> where it's just full of monsters and thousands of items. <laughs> and ceiling hippos. These monsters no longer scare me after hearing about Clancy. <laughs> you sure you wanna launch that missile? It's a passenger ship. <laughs> I'm sorry, you sound like you're being sarcastic, so I don't believe you. <laughs> Anyway, infinite ammo. <laughs> this game is awesome. <laughs> it has everything you need. It's no. it's funny, you get all the shit you want. <laughs> I, was, I was so worried about it being boring, but it really wasn't. This game is not lacking in anything. <laughs> Don't laugh, Jack. <Jeremy. coughs> Elevator. So sorry, sorry. <laughs> Do you remember how Metal Gear was kind of subtle and shit? Like, we're defending the country, at least. <laughs> Clancy's just an asshole. Remind me what subtle means? I've forgotten after watching this game. <laughs> I have, too. It's a word that once had meaning that seemed appropriate here. <laughs> Why aren't you shooting Clancy? Said that monster. 64, 63. Well, better conserve ammo. <laughs> I better not use 61 bullets till the next download area. <laughs> Anna, do you have gas for my torch? Yeah, give my dog a fucking hot dog or something. <laughs> Deep Fear, disc two, where shit gets awesome. Wait, CCD, isn't this where all of them were? Like Clancy and them? Look, we gotta look at our anime girlfriend in our room. Okay, okay fair enough, yeah. Even with these funny moments, we have to remember the 
more important things in life. <laughs> there's a mission here. Just <laughs> there's a mission here. It's like, oh yeah, I can. <laughs> you literally have everything. <laughs> Why is wait, so? That's like a realistic looking photograph, but Stella is a fucking cartoon. Yeah, that's the one anime thing in this game. Anyway, back to remember Mookie. Yeah, remember that April Fool's joke we had here? Well, now there's a monster. <laughs> Are you monsters ruining Mookie's April Fool's joke? <laughs> not anymore. You I better guess. not play dead. <laughs> yeah, back up. That's really necessary, I'm sure. Whoa, don't waste ammo. <laughs> well, that's that. Alright. <laughs> what, what, what is the item that we have to get here? I have no idea what we're even, or what this guy's even doing now. I thought we were escaping, but now we're getting gas for Danny's torch to save Anna? And Dubois is nowhere to be found? And why is Anna in peril? She locked herself into the other side of the door that we have to torch her. So she's not in peril. Well, can't she punch through the wall and get out? I think she's already out, is what's happened here. That's what I would assume. Like, we're going to escape, and she's like, I reached the surface days ago. Anyway. Don't you think so, Rambo? Roof! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Roof! Clarence is a monster! Roof! <laughs> <laughs> the real monster. You better be the final boss of this game, I'm just saying. <laughs> the final boss is you having to listen to Clancy's horrible stories about what he's done to people. <laughs> I, I didn't tell you. I, I was undercover and I gave Osama Bin Laden the idea for 9-11. I can't believe he went through with it. It was ridiculous. <laughs> oh, Clancy. He's that elevator. calls for Kill. some minor punishment. <laughs> now you're reprimanded to the seat table for two years. You're getting probated for six hours, Clancy. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know how to punish crimes in 1990X. It was a simpler time. <laughs> John Mayer, you saved the whole seat table. You're... Gonna be working at the C table for six months. Mm -hmm. We don't know how to reward or punish anyone, basically. <laughs> oh god! Wow, Clancy, this game, this game is a fucking train wreck. Oh yeah, we had to go to the C farm for something. I I forgot what. Is that where the what fuel is or gas? Text in a box. I need another summary, please. <laughs> All right. And so, just to reiterate, this game did not do well. <laughs> um. Somehow. Okay. Oh yeah, Sharon. Who's who is she again? Sharon. Yeah, remember her? The the girl was like, I like dolphins, and you, John Mayer. Bye. Yeah, her. Oh yeah, the play dead girl. Yeah. Oh, is that her? Okay. Sharon, where's the elevator that's connected to the energy unit area? To get to the elevator, you need the passcode to get into the room before it. Do you know the pass number? Yeah, it's 2751. Why do you ask? Something needs to be done about the energy unit. It's about to melt down. You escape in the DSRV. Then we have to set this child free. Will it take long? Mm -hmm. Yes, because the power's out. The sequence is complicated and I have to go to the control room. Hurry! Okay. Oh, I've seen the DN area diver go around the outside of the big table to get to the energy unit in a robotic suit. DN area diver. Okay, thanks. John, be careful. <laughs> Cut. That's beautiful take. We don't need to do that again. Excellent job, Sharon. All right, that was a good cold read, so now memorize those lines and deliver them next time. Oh, wait, we're going with that? That's an excellent voice actress job. And you say you're a secretary? Really? <laughs> Amazing. You're saying Why you're one of the here? production designer's daughters? Really? Why don't you just sit down on the couch with me here and we'll talk about it. Okay. I'll just give you a back rub. Oh my god. Whew. Well, I better stop that meltdown. Hopefully she can save the dolphin. I'm whatever. worried about if I can accomplish this task at this time. By the way, John, I hear Clancy is Hitler, only underwater. What have you heard to suggest that? Something about a... What? He's gonna go back. Oh, by the way, I need the key. Sharon's you room are. is locked? That's worse than anything Clancy did. 
I have a feeling we have an elevator coming. Yes! Good. Let's just Excellent. let's just calm, calm down and see what's happened here. Oh yeah, nothing. <laughs> That's the artistry of deep fear. I it's, I'm I'm deeply afraid. Yes. No monsters. We don't hear any heavy breathing. The soundtrack quit. A long time ago. I'm glad the composer probably moved on to other things. He's a basically. situational composer. Let's just check the map. He comes here. in when the game is at its most boring. <laughs> I'm hoping in the next three minutes. Oh, the large animals room. Here we go. Well, there's no there's no great music, so I don't think a boss is coming. The large animals room. Oh, Clancy killed everything in here. Hmm. <laughs> oh my God! They turned into a golf course. You <laughs> monsters. This is Clancy! the worst thing you've ever done, Clancy. Oh, wait, wait, all right. Um, what? Uh. <laughs> um. Let's just move on, John. This is this this makes this makes too little it, sense. Even is this not a good time to ask the question of why? Uh, <laughs> anyway, the administration room. Oh yeah, that. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what they're administering. Oh no, it's run by cows! There, don't say that. Wait, you need a control panel for the one cow? <laughs> That's utterly ridiculous. I'm John Mayer. I better take a thousand first aid kits after that nonsense. Oh my god. Oddly enough, you can suck the cow's udders and regain full health anytime you want. <laughs> True story. Oh my god. I don't even remember that. I really don't even remember that passcode after that nonsense. <laughs> oh, did something else happen that made you forget that in the course of this game? <laughs> Do I, I'm not. I'm not sure. That's the diff where the difficulty comes in. We're 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 talking about last alert right now, right? I, I think that's the case. Okay. John Mayer, sub Buster. <laughs> well, that's, God Almighty. Well, was this getting too hard? Have everything. <laughs> Excuse me, game. I needed more ammunition. <laughs> oh, come on! Well, that's one puzzle solved. Whatever you do, John, do not mix the gas cylinder up with your first aid kit. Oh, Jesus Christ. Common mistake in this <laughs> canon. We're coming to the end of this video. Do you think there's anything interesting happening in the passageway? I'm still having trouble dealing with the interesting stuff we already experienced. <laughs> We're never going to stop with this. I'm sorry. I doubt it. <laughs> Clancy! Clancy! I mean, he just so casually dropped that information to us. Oh no, there's no elevator here. Oh, by the way, mild backstory about myself. <laughs> John, this elevator's closed! I you mean, maybe you've heard this, but let me just get it out there. <laughs> Not a you big deal. <laughs> you might have seen some terrible video called Adults Reacted to Clancy. <laughs> That maybe impugned my character a little, but... Consider it a mild gaffe on my part. <laughs> I'm willing to admit my small mistakes. <laughs> Infinitesimal as they might be. So is this like the halfway point of the game now? <laughs> we're we're four-sevenths through it! Damn it! <laughs> That was so awesome! <laughs> oh, Clancy. Clancy got into some shenanigans again. I never thought that would be the high point of that. <laughs> Will he never learn? Before we did the recording tonight, I watched 20 minutes of this video, and I didn't watch Clancy at all. That was awesome. <laughs> I figured Sharon with the fucking stupid dolphin would be the thing. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Killed thousands of people. It was kind of an accident. Danny warned me about it, but what can you do? I mean, I said oops. <laughs> I'm Clancy, ladies and gentlemen. Clancy. Deep Fear. Clancy, the real villain of Deep Fear. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's not even a Resident Evil equivalent. Like, even Wesker's like, well, shit, I never did that. <laughs> I mean, God. I was trying to make bio monsters to do that. You just went and did it. 
Like Sephiroth is like, yeah, I think this guy's got it. <laughs> right? <laughs> Kafka, Kafka's like, my man. <laughs> I mean, you one up to me, bro. Dude. I would never I, have thought of that. I had to build a whole tower full of angels and dumb shit like that, but you just are like, yeah, watch the missile. Why didn't I think of that? Yeah, that's it. It's that's just it. plausible deniability, I guess. <laughs> it works. <laughs> Admiral, you killed thousands of people idiotically, so you get to work in the underwater base. <laughs> Bye. So we're going to give you a lateral career move. <laughs> Maybe that, like, the UFO that had the virus was their way of punishing Clancy. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> he, had, he had Phoenix Wright as his lawyer. We couldn't get anything on him, so just put him in the bottom of the sea and throw a virus down there. Yeah, that's fine. I think <laughs> he learned his lesson. We never counted on John Mayer, clueless idiot, to be down there. <laughs> and his motley crew of um, weirdly built women and uh, French gay people. I don't know what Dubois is. And John Mayer's dense enough to not really mind Clancy's backstory. Yeah, no, I know. It's like, right. yeah, I accept that. Now I'm going to move right, on and get some people. air and ammo. <laughs> All right, listen. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go refuel and reload, and I'll be back, and you'll open a door for me. Mm -hmm. Then I <laughs> think cool? we'll be even. Then you'll Sounds be even right. with humanity. <laughs> either, either way. Either way. Either way. <laughs> that'll that'll be about that. Yeah. I'm John. That was Mayer. the climax of the game, right? <laughs> Might as well be. We should just stop the wrong prey here. Yeah, I mean that's pretty much where the game ends, in my opinion. <laughs> If, if we didn't have to find out what happens to that monkey and that dolphin. Yeah. We'll wait till we find out it. what the monkey and the dolphin did. <laughs> oh, they destroyed whole species. <laughs> that was great. Wow. Oh, by the way, I launched a torpedo back in time and it, it caused the extinction of the dinosaurs. <laughs> I My inadvertently bad. caused the Holocaust. My bad. And for that, I got a demerit. <laughs> I'm, one of my merit badges was taken from me what a world and then Danny's like yeah well I warned him not to <laughs> whatever and then everything's fine <laughs> Yeah, but I still work for him no problem there anyway here's a very unintimidating boss <laughs> when you're done with him I'll give you about a hundred air grenades here. <laughs> if, if you're <laughs> Can, I'll, just, I'll give it to you regardless, honestly. Can, can you carry anymore? No? Okay. Yeah, it's fine. All right. Deep fear. Deep fear.